Hey everyone, welcome to TPM. Thanks for joining. Today we're going to talk about a couple things and I have so much to talk about that I think we're going to divide this into a part one and a part two. So part one will be a gear review, a couple new MDT items that I got a hold of that I think are really, really cool. And the next part will be just kind of an overview of the company and what's been going on lately and uh, where we're heading currently. So let's get started with part one and we'll do a little breakdown of these two little nice MDT gadgets that I have here on the table behind me. All right, so the two products we have from MDT to review today are first off, this LRA level, uh, they're called the, the Send It level, it's an electronic level for your rifle. And then we have this MDT training shot timer that was just released after the SHOT Show this year. It's very, very cool, and we'll go ahead and jump into both of these things and I'll let you know what I think about them because I've had a decent amount of time with both of these items. They're both on loan to me from people who I purchased them for and I'll tell you what I like and don't like. So let's start with this guy first. All right guys, so here we have the uh, send it level. So this was previously made by Long Range Arms, LRA as some of you know it, and MDT has taken it, rebranded it, and made it their own. So I'm not sure if they're the actual ones manufacturing this. Um, either way, this is a very nice unit. I saw one of the original LRA units uh, a few years back, and I'd have to say that based on my memory, this is probably a little bit nicer fit and finish than the original LRA one. So that's a, a good point. So the whole purpose of this is just to level out your rifle. So this is mounted to the Picatinny rail. I'll get some close-ups here in a second. And mounts to your Picatinny rail, faces you. It can be mounted either horizontally like this, or it can be mounted vertically like that. And it's got sensors inside that automatically detect which orientation it's in, and it corresponds to those. So uh, it's very, very sensitive. I shot a match with it uh, three weeks ago or so, and I really, really liked it. I traditionally will use a bubble level on the scopes that I run, and the problem with the bubble level is it takes just a little bit longer to see it. It doesn't stand out as much. You're looking at a green vial that's slightly out of focus and you kind of got to sit there and take some time and get your rifle all leveled up to take a long range shot. Whereas this, especially in competition, is absolutely phenomenal because you have these really bright red, blue, and green LEDs in there and they tell you exactly what you need to do to level out your rifle. So it's very quick and very efficient. Um, I really enjoyed shooting with it and I really have no critiques about this product other than it's a little expensive, but you get what you pay for once again. And if you're on a budget, running a bubble level is just fine, but this might save you a couple extra precious seconds in a match if you're uh, in that type of scenario. But very nice, it's got a programmable features in it so you can adjust the uh, actual sensitivity of it and you can adjust the level and level it for your rifle. And this is independent from your scope so it's gonna be mounted to your Picatinny rail, generally speaking. So you need to have your scope also leveled to your rifle. Um, there are some people who will mount this to a Picatinny rail off their scope mounts and in that case, um, it could be mounted to the scope tube or the scope mounts. So either way, you need to have all your stuff on your rifle leveled and square in order to make that accurate long range shot. So very cool product. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised how well this worked. I was very skeptical at first. I don't like uh, generally electronic gizmos like this and this actually surprised me and I like it. And then I'll probably end up buying, I will definitely end up buying one of these for uh, my match rifles. So. Very cool product, guys. All right, guys, and up next, we have our MDT training shot timer here. This has been a very unique thing for me to use. And once again, this was purchased for a customer and it's on loan to me for this review, but I'll probably end up buying one of these for myself as well because I, I really like it. Um, cool things about it and features that might stand out. So there's programmable settings for different shooters. There's a bunch of different profiles for everything from airsoft to 22 long rifle, pistol, and carbine. There's suppressed settings. There's settings for your 223. There's settings for non-lethal or less than lethal stuff like your 40 millimeter launchers. Um, it just does a lot of stuff and it's very intuitive and easy to set up. 
And also there's an iPhone app or a cell phone app, mobile app that you can download and it interfaces with this very, very nicely. And it lets you record, video record, you're shooting and it corresponds to what the shot timer is picking up so you can see your shot times and everything on the video. So it's very, very cool. Um, you can set up different courses of fire. There's some preset courses of fire in the phone app and overall it just does a really nice job. And the one big benefit to it that I can see is it picks up dry fire practice and it works phenomenally well. Um, I can't think of another shot timer out there that will pick up dry fire. So you're able to set part times, you're able to set delay times, you're able to set uh, all these different standards and train in your garage or your living room or wherever with dry fire practice, which as we all know is excellent. So um, that's a very cool feature. I haven't tried the suppress settings yet. And that typically is a problem with the other uh, competition electronics and the other shot timers that are out there. They just don't pick up suppressed rounds very well. So I'm gonna try that out this weekend, hopefully, and see how that works. But let's take a look at the uh, shot timer right now and I'll kind of walk you guys through that and what I found and what I like and what I think they could improve on. Hopefully, if MDT is listening through uh, a little software change here. All right guys, so here we have our MDT training shot timer. Very cool unit. So I'll go over some of the physical features first. Uh, right here on the front, this little circle, that's where your beep comes from. It's got a very, very nice and loud beep that's easy to hear even with double uh, ear pro, your plugs and muffs on, I can hear it just fine. And here we have our sound source. That's where the sound of your shot comes through. And we also have another one here on the back. And as you might've just noticed, the back of the unit is actually magnetized, so you can stick this on any other metallic object that is uh, magnetic, like a steel plate like this we have here. And the backing clip right here is also magnetic, so it's also cool. So they stick together and very strong magnets, so you don't have to worry about it falling off if you run around with this stuck on your pocket or anything like that and you got a pocket clip on the back here. The nice thing about this is if you're running a course of fire by yourself and you have this clip to your pocket like I do sometimes, and you accidentally snag it on something, it's just gonna detach the timer. It's not gonna ruin anything. Your timer will hit the deck and you'll pick it up, dust it off, and go on with your day. So you have uh, three buttons here, these bright green buttons. The center one turns it on, holding it down for two seconds, and you have up and down, and those kind of navigate you through the menus and the different settings in the unit. So we'll check out the uh, actual software portion of this now. So it has all my information at, to at the top, and that actually uh, brought it over from my cell phone when I Bluetooth connected it to the, the app. Um, right now it's set on dry fire practice, and we have one other setting for shoot practice, so we can select that and go there. And then you have your start button there, so when that's highlighted, you just hit the middle button again and you start the timer. So we'll run through that once. Here's your delay, here's your shots, and it registers those just fine. And there's no part-time set, so it'll run on and fin uh, for as long as you, you let it. So you stop it and it starts again. So very nice feature if you're running a line of multiple shooters. So this logs all the times in the history, which we'll get into in a second, but you can just go down a line and have your shooter, hey, shooter ready, understand the course of fire, beep. They shoot their course of fire. All right, cool. Show clear. All right, next shooter, stand by. And they're off and running. So you continue this down the line and it just makes it easier. There's no reset or anything like that to do. And, and again, it logs all this information in the history portion of the software. So you can go back and look at all the times and stuff, which is really nice. So we'll exit out of this and we'll go back into some of these other settings. And I apologize, I'm trying to keep this thing uh, glare free as possible. So here in our kind of our main, our homepage, if you will, 
we have a couple settings we can choose from. So here it's selected as common. So if we click on common, this just shows you different firearms that this thing can pick up. So we have everything from airsoft, gas blowback airsoft, to common, which is kind of your uh, catch-all setting. It, uh, it records or picks up pretty much everything there is, uh, except the real quiet stuff. We have common par, we have dry fire, which is our ultra sensitive setting. We have our LR22 setting uh, set up for 22s, and you can add more in different presets. And all that does is adjust the sensitivity of the unit for the different firearms that you're shooting. So we'll just select, uh, let's just stick with common. Um, and it gives you different options for uh, within those settings right here. So here we have a sensor setup. We'll click on that and see what that's about. So it picks up, so here you can further define the firearm that you're shooting. So within this menu, you have a bunch of different options. So you have airsoft, six millimeter airsoft, handgun 22, carbine 22, less lethal, nine millimeter handgun, nine millimeter carbine. And it goes on and you have suppressed options, you have shotgun options, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So we'll just click any, and once again, that's kind of the catch all. You can play with the sensitivity manually here. It goes from zero to 100, so you have a lot of adjustment. Uh, echo filter, I typically leave that at uh, 0.1. Volume is all the way up at 100%, and spy mode. So spy mode is a really cool feature. So let's say you want to record your buddy or do something like that. This will start without the beep. So you can still record your buddy's uh, shot times and, and uh, split times and stuff without him knowing you're doing it or you don't distract another shooter. So it's a cool feature to have right now. It's off and we're going to leave it off and we're going to go back. And once we're back in this menu, we have our delay. So you can set it to random or you can set it to different times. So instant, and then you can set whatever time you want. So I like to have it on random. Then we have sets. So this is like your reps, if you will. So if you want to run a course of fire and run a shooter through the course of fire, let's say four or five times, then you can set four or five on your sets. And once you hit start, the shooter will shoot the course of fire and automatically reset. And you, it doesn't have to have another, a button push to initiate the, the timer again. It automatically goes through all the different sets until they're done and the shooter's finished. So really cool feature. Uh, here's your time limit setting, and that's just your time timeout setting. So you can set that for uh, whatever you want. Right now it's set for infinity, so it just runs on until you tell it to stop. Uh, there's a max amount of shots. Right now it's set to infinity. Our pause time, and that is the time in between your sets. So that gives the shooter time to reset, reholster, do whatever they need to do. And then you can, then you can uh, delete this actual whole setting if you want. So we're gonna apply that one because that's a good one. And we're still in shoot practice. And then down here, oops, I changed it. So we'll go back to our common and apply. All right, so here you have uh, a display of what your current settings are. So uh, it's set on the any firearm. It's the volume for the unit is set to 100%. The uh, microphone sensitivity is set to 68%. Our delay, our random, our delay is random. Excuse me. Our time limit is set to infinity. Our round count is set to infinity, and our pause in between sets is five seconds. And we're set for just one set for this uh, profile right here. So very cool. And now I want to show you guys the uh, dry fire mode, which I think is just awesome. So we click on dry practice. And we have our settings. We can go through all those again. Um, all the same stuff. So you can set uh, sets. So let's do multiple sets for this little demonstration. And we'll go with, let's say, five sets. So our pause time, we'll break that down to three seconds. So we're not waiting as long. It doesn't take that long to rack a slide. And I'm going the wrong way. But... There we go, three seconds. And mode is classic. So classic basically uh, 
starts and stops with the timer. It doesn't record your shots. It just starts the training with a beep and ends the training with a beep. So whatever you're doing that that would be beneficial for, that's the setting you're going to use. And the smart setting is, it states right here on the app that the drills will capture the sound of the trigger for an extended practice. Make sure you're on in a quiet place. So, um, Ready. 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 All right, so here's our dry fire practice menu. And once again, we can go down and change all of our settings around. And I found that uh, the settings are pretty good as far as the sensor goes. You have classic mode and you have smart mode. So classic mode, it starts your training and stops your training with a beep. It does not record the sound of the trigger press. So <clears throat> I usually leave it on uh, smart mode. There's our delay after you hit the start button, how many sets we're gonna do. I have it set at five sets. Our dry fire time, so that's how long the timer will run before it goes to the next set. And then we have our pause time, and that's the time in between sets, so you can rack your slide and prepare for the next set. So those all look good, so we'll go back. And again, down here on the menu, it gives you all of your current settings. So we're set to the any firearm setting, which again is kind of the catch all. Our microphone, or I'm sorry, our speaker is set to 10% volume. Our microphone volume is set to 100%, so it'll pick up that uh, striker fall. Then we have our delay at three seconds, our dry fire time at three seconds, our pause time at three seconds, and we have five sets to go. So I'll kind of set this up right here where you guys can see it. And I have my Glock 43 out right here, all unloaded and ready to go. And we'll hit the start button and I kinda wanna show you guys how it picks up the dry fire setting or the dry fire shots. So, very cool. So we'll hit start. Ready. Gives you a nice audible ready. And there's your shot. Ready. And there's another one. Ready. 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 And that's it. So that was my five, five reps, and then it gives you your times for each. So your uh, first shot and then your, uh, let's see, and then it records your best time up there. So I had a 0.19 fingers on the trigger and I was kind of cheating for that one, but really cool. So it records all that and it works extremely well. Like you just saw for dry fire It's very, very cool. So we'll go back and get out of that and then uh, check out any other settings we have. So uh, we kind of went over all those already and let's see what else we got. So on the top menu here, we have our dry practice and we have our shoot practice. If we click on that again, it gives you a bunch of other different things to access. So here's history. I was talking about this earlier and we can go into each of our sessions. So it gives you uh, what it was, the set session was, so it was dry fire practice, the date, the time, um, the settings you were on, and you can go down and get the actual details of what went on. So there's all my five sets. There's my shoot times. We'll go back and we can go, let's see what we can do. It just takes you through each of, so I have five different events on the unit right now. So you can scroll through each of the five and get all the, the details you want. So session one of five, we'll go two, three, four, five so you can check out all the history and all the details on everything you do 
So very, very cool. So we'll get out of that. And, and honestly, that's, that's pretty much it. So the unit itself without the cell phone app works just great. Like you saw, it's super intuitive. It takes a, you know, a couple minutes to get used to using the side buttons here and navigating the menus, but it's very, very simple. There's nothing complex about it at all. It just took me maybe five minutes to familiarize myself with it. And now it's, it's almost natural. As long as you're paying attention to what you're doing and you don't hit the, the up button when you want to go down or vice versa. So now let's check out the app. All right, guys. So here's the app installed on my Apple iPhone. Uh, very simple to install. In fact, all I did was I hope this focuses, but scan this little QR code right here. It came on the little simple instruction manual and it took me to the Apple app store, downloaded the app. It searched for the unit, connected the unit in a couple seconds, and I was off and running. It was literally that fast and that simple. The app is really good um, for being kind of a new product to market. I think that MDT did a great job. It has a lot of really cool features as you saw in the unit itself, but then there's some cooler stuff that you can access here in the actual app. So we'll take a look at that right now. So we have our little connected symbol up there. Um, that's some user information, some setting information, and there's really not much to, to look in there. You can change some settings with uh, your gun profiles for different uh, sound settings and stuff like that. But the cool features are down here. So we have stage library right here. And this is set to my library, all stages, and they preload a couple of stages for you that are pretty well known. So we have El Prez right here, uh, three targets, range 32.9 feet. And it gives you a diagram that actually shows you how to set up the stage if you're unfamiliar with it. So there's there's actually five, it looks like five that are loaded and you can add new stages, you can develop your own stages. And what's really cool is when you click on our stages here, it gives you a nice little diagram of your view. So the little white dot, hard to see, is your uh, yeah, it's not going to pick up on the camera, but I'll get a close-up of that in a second. So there's a white dot that denotes where the shooter's position is, and then there's your target's downrange. And you can hit this button for a walkthrough and actually walk through the course. Super cool. And there's another mode here. So this is... I'm not sure what that mode does. i got to look into that a little bit more. It says AR mode, and that's something I have not played with just yet, but it looks interesting and I will play with it after I'm done with this video. So again, really cool. It gives you a course description for the course fire. So shooting range, uh, the length of the route, the approximate passage time, maximum shot range, minimum number of shots, number of targets, and what target you need. So it's an IPSC target. So super cool. You can pick your weapon profile. So we have our common, common park, Airsoft gas blowback, 22 dry fire, and those are the two dry fire uh, profiles that I made. So we'll get out of our stage library and there's a bunch in there. And actually look at one more thing. So we have a, a public setting up here too that takes you into this tab with a whole bunch of different, and it just goes on and on. And these are all courses of fire that people design themselves and uploaded to the uh, the app. So very cool. They all have the same stuff, the course walkthrough, uh, the descriptions for the course of fire and all the information that you need to shoot it. So now we'll go down to our training menu right here. So I have two different trainings set up. We'll, we'll set up a new one for this. So it labels it as training two. You can label it whatever you want. Uh, there's your time in seconds your delay in seconds after you hit the start button and your pause between the reps if you're shooting a multiple rep uh, training drill. So here's where we select our weapon. And once again, everything from airsoft and less lethal to a uh, 20 gauge shotgun. It's got everything in there. Options for suppressed, 22 pistol, very cool. So we're just gonna hit the, the catch all any and call it good. So when you hit create, it takes you back to your menu of all your trainings and you click on your uh, training two here and it gives you your settings. So there's our uh, training time, there's three seconds and there's our uh, delay time. So here's the number of reps you can set. And as you can see, you can set 
as many reps as you want. So there's six reps and it's pretty nice. And here's where you choose your modes. We have our classic mode and we have our smart mode. So it tells you what they are down here. Classic mode, your training starts and ends with a sound signal. So it does not record the shots. It just gives you a buzzer to start and a buzzer to stop. Here we go over to smart mode and that's your traditional shot timer setting where it picks up your split times, your first shot on target and overall time. Um, we go down here and there's our gun type, same as uh, everything else. We can pick our, our gun type, whatever we want. But we go down to the last green bar down there and this is where this thing gets really cool and unique. So record video. So we hit record video and as you can see, it records video. We can hit our record button down there and then we can hit our start time. And there's our start of our course of fire. So very cool. Hit the stop button, pause the video. You can go back and it saves it to an archive where you can access the video and watch yourself shoot and kind of analyze what you're doing, which is super beneficial. A lot of uh, IPSC shooters and uh, steel challenge shooters use that to improve their times. So very, very cool feature. The only bone that I have to pick with the software in this thing is there's not a way to, that I have found, to create a training profile for dry fire training. So you can do it on the unit itself, no problem, but you can't do it on the app. I haven't found a way to do it. So maybe MDT can uh, watch this video and uh, maybe make a modification or let me know how I can set this up for dry fire training and recording myself. Uh, when I'm dry fire training using the app. So super cool. We'll get out of there and you can make as many training profiles as you want. I'm not sure what the limit is, but I'm sure it's quite a few. Next we have free shooting and this is your standard shot timer setup. So we have our all of our gun setups once again. We're set for common right now. You can change the sensitivity and these are all the settings that we went through on the actual unit. So spy mode, once again, takes the beeper off, beeper volume adjustment, echo filter, your delay, number of sets, the time limit, shot limit, and your pause between sets. And once again, you have the option of video recording your shooting and watching what you're doing, which is super cool. Uh, last but not least, we have quick stage. So these are just stages that you can kind of put together yourself. So you can select different targets. We have uh, standard targets, uh, it looks like Ipsic, they call it a metric target. There's pepper poppers, uh, little plates like on a plate rack, and then we have penalty targets, so hostage targets or whatever. And your preset weapon system is there. And here we have number of shots set to infinity and your time delay. So super cool. You can set this up, record it. And this is just if you go out with a buddy and let's say you have five pepper poppers to set up. So we zero these out and select our five pepper poppers and figure out our number of shots. If you only have a six shot limit or a five shot limit, you do that, figure out your delay, and then you can record yourself shooting your own little course of fire like that. So very, very cool stuff. And I am almost positive that this is the only system like this. I know there's some apps that you can download for the iPhone and uh, Android phones that, that do something similar, but you don't have the the sound source pick up like this unit does to pick up uh, the shots effectively that I, I've found so far. I've never found an app that does what this will do. So that pretty much wraps up the, the functionality of the software here. There's some other cool stuff they've included. There's uh, uh, places where people can upload their videos so you can watch those. Very cool. Let me turn the sound on. And what's cool about that is it shows her split times and her first shot on target there. So kind of cool if you wanna to share that with your buddies. And there's a whole bunch of those on there. Uh, we go over to events and this just last or lists some uh, courses of fire it looks like that maybe some uh, competition type stuff. Then we have activity and here's where we access what we did, our, our shot timer activity and what we did. So. Training one, we have, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but this is the latest one that we just set up. Um, here we had our five, oops, our five reps, so they call them sets. 
uh, required time is three seconds. My time was 0.4 seconds. Um, it goes down there and there's my fast time. And we did all that on, on this timer. So it transfers it over here. So you can see it a little easier than on the small screen. Um, really cool stuff. All your history is accessible, has everything. You can go check your calendar here and go to certain dates. So if you train on a date, you can pick that date real quick and see how fast you shot on that date. Um, Overall, just very impressed with the unit, guys. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than like your uh, CED timers, but it's 100% worth it, especially if you want to uh, train, dry fire, and record your shot time. So some very, very, very cool features. And once again, it's an MDT product, and it, I can't say enough about MDT right now. Um, they've been a great company to work with and they're one of the fastest companies. I don't know how they do it, but they have their supply chain stuff figured out post COVID. So, um, I got this in maybe four or five days. They're just over in Washington. So they're pretty close by, but their processing times are quick. Their communication's great. Um, their products are, are quick. And even some of the stuff that I've ordered for customers that's allegedly back ordered, um, they beat their back order estimated times and usually I have it in a week, maybe two is I think the longest that I've waited. So I'm very happy to uh, be a dealer and distributor for MDT, like their products and hope you guys enjoy this. It's just, there's some cool stuff out there and there's, there's cool stuff coming out every year, but I thought that this especially was very unique and very uh, applicable to a bunch of the stuff that we do. So a lot of cool stuff here, guys. So uh, this wraps up this video. And tomorrow I will release part two of the video for the weekend. So you'll be seeing this on Saturday and I'll release the uh, part two video Sunday morning. And that's just gonna go over once again, some of the stuff that we're doing at the company and where we're at right now and what to expect here in the near future. So. Thanks for watching guys. Hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't already and we will see you next time.